Hey guys, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and I would love to show you how to create a Minecraft server using our easy to use and professional platform. As you can see here on our pricing page at Server Pro, we cater for every type of server owner, from casual owners who are looking for somewhere to hop on every now and then with their friends, to dedicated server owners who run successful servers or networks. To create a server, you will first need to decide which one of our plans is most suitable for you. We have our free plan, which allows you to create a free server with an hourly renewal period. This provides you with enough resources to enjoy a world with a few friends. Our premium servers are renewed on a monthly basis, and these are ideal for people who want to utilize plugins, mods, more intensive in-game features, and play with larger amounts of players. Then there is our pro plan. These are for serious server owners who use a lot of plugins or mods with a large community. All of these plans give you access to our dedicated support team who are here to help you whenever you need it. You can view the main differences between each category here. Premium and Pro servers allow you to set up servers instantly with full access to every feature in our custom control panel. The Pro plan features a faster processor, a dedicated IPRI, and enterprise grade DDoS protection with a firewall designed to protect Minecraft servers. To create your server, just click Create Server at the bottom of this page. This brings you to the configuration area. Here you need to select which game you want to run, Minecraft Java Edition or Bedrock Edition. Java Edition is for PC or Mac users who are using the Minecraft launcher. Bedrock Edition is for users on Pocket Edition, Xbox, PS4 or the Windows 10 Edition from the Windows 10 store. Next, you will be able to select your plan. Here I'm going to go with our pro level high plan. If you are struggling to decide which plan is best for you, our support team may be able to help advise which plan is best for you. So don't hesitate to send them a message. You are also able to downgrade your server or upgrade your server between the plans after renting it. So your decision can be altered in the future if you feel that your needs have been changed. So once you've decided on a plan, you can go ahead and select your location. We recommend the location that is situated centrally to where you and your players are likely to be located. I'm in the UK and my players are going to be in the UK. So in this case, I would select the UK as that would be best for me in terms of the internet connection. But after selecting your location, you'll need to select a host name for your server in this configuration area. So this is what you'll use to join the Minecraft server along with the IP address. This can be anything that you'd like. So I'm just going to go ahead and call mine Server Pro YouTube and you are able to select any of the domains available here. Now you will need to select what game type you want to run, from vanilla to spigot to forge to any mod pack available in our pre-installed list. If there is something that you want and it's not installed here, contact our support as we will likely be able to get it added for you or installed manually onto your server. Once you've selected the version that you want to run, go ahead and select the version. You can see all the available versions here. I'm just going to go ahead and select the latest vanilla or default server with the latest Minecraft version available at this time. So next, you'll need to sign up for an account on our website. So you can go ahead and sign up with Facebook if you want to link your Facebook account, or you can go ahead and enter your email and password here. Once you click sign up, you will need to activate your account. To activate your account, go to your email inbox and there will be an email that's displayed. Click the activate link in that email and it should take you back to the activation page. So as you can see here, I've just activated my account and you'll need to scroll down to the bottom of the page. And then if you've selected a paid plan, you will need to arrange some form of payment. You can connect a card directly to your account and this will be charged automatically when your server renews. You don't have to continue this though. You can cancel this at any time. There's no obligation to continue. Or you can just simply top up your account with a balance. As you can see, I have now topped up my account balance and I can now go ahead and click the create server button towards the lower area of the page. And as you can see, it's now created my server. This is our custom control panel. This has been developed in-house by our own developers. This is where you're able to control everything on your server from changing settings, viewing or managing files, or even using the console. You're practically able to do everything easily within this panel. So now that you've successfully created your server, I'm sure you're wanting to join it. So this is really easy. It does vary depending on what device you are on, but I will go through each of these. So please bear with me. So if you're using the Java edition on PC or Mac, you will need to enter the multiplayer menu on Minecraft. So go ahead and do that and click direct connect. So now it's asking for your server address. So this is usually your IP address and port. 
So for users on our free or premium servers, you will need to enter the port. For players on our pro servers, you do not need to enter the port. So for my case, I just need to copy this IP address and paste it into the server address box. If you did have a premium server though, or a free server, you will need to enter the port. So in this case, it's 25565. So you'd put a colon and then 25565. And then that would be just like so. And then you click join server and you'd be in the game successfully. It is also worth mentioning that you do need to enter your own IP for your specific server rather than the IP on this tutorial. If you use this IP, you won't be able to join. So for players on the Bedrock Edition, which is Xbox, PS4, Pocket Edition, or the Windows 10 Store Edition, you need to go to the Minecraft game, click play, then go to servers, then add server, and then it's a similar thing. You need to enter the server address, but the port is kept separate this time. So make sure you enter these details here and select the server name. Then once you've done that, click play and you should join your server without any problems at all. So now that we've successfully joined our server, I would like to go through a few basics with you so that you can understand how to manage the server correctly. So when you first join your server, you'll notice that as the owner of the server, even though you're the owner, you won't be able to run commands. So if I was to type slash game mode creative, you can see that it won't allow me to do that. So this is because I'm not an operator. So to make myself an operator, I need to go to the control panel, then the players tab. And then you'll see my name here because I am online on the server. And if I click these little three dots on the right hand side, you can see make operator. So if you click that, I will now become an operator on the server. And if I go back in game, you can see it says it made Racer K12 a server operator. And then I now should be able to run that command. And I should be able to run all the commands on the server. So within this playlist, you are able to do a few other things. You can enable a whitelist. If you enable the whitelist, it only allows certain players to join your server. So if you want your server to be private, enable the whitelist and then I can add myself. And then that would mean only I can join the server. And I could put Notch and then only me and Notch could join the server, for example. So this is good if you want to keep your server private and not open to the public. Next is the ban list. So you can ban people on your server if whatever reason you want to, you can do that here. Next on the worlds tab, you are here able to create new worlds. So if I wanted to create a world called, I don't know, normal, you can go ahead and do that, select the level type. If I wanted to create it as flat, generate structures, no, you can configure this however you want. You don't have to select this. Then select the level seeds. So I'll just put something random here like, like that and then click create world. This will then create a new world. Now, when you do this, it will restart the server so that it generates the world fully. So you will need to rejoin. If you wanted to switch back to a previous world, you can just go ahead and select it like so. And then you will need to restart your server as you can see in the bottom right. The last setting that we're going to take a look at today is the reinstall tab. So here you're able to reinstall your server with different game types or versions of Minecraft that you'd like to run. So you could do this here if you wanted to change to something like Tech It, such as a mod pack like this. You could go ahead and do that, then click reinstall and it would reinstall the server with that mod pack enabled. So that's all the basics to our control panel. There are a few other settings that I would recommend going through, such as backups and um, files, the console. However, if you need any further help with this, feel free to check out our other tutorials. If you need any help with anything else, feel free to contact our support. We're here to help 24 seven. So please get in contact with us and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Now, other than that, I really hope that you enjoy your Minecraft server. Thank you for watching and I hope that you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.